Welcome to the Bioenergy Research and Demonstration Facility, also known as a BRDF. Operating since 2012, this innovative facility generates renewable energy for the UBC Vancouver campus. The BRDF is a key contributor to UBC's greenhouse gas emission reduction targets. By using biomass to generate thermal energy, the BRDF reduces campus emissions by 14% compared to 2007 levels and its reliance on fossil fuels. This facility was also North America's first demonstration of electricity and heat generation through a community-scale co-generation system fueled by biomass. The biomass consists of clean chipped wood waste that is locally sourced from sawmill and furniture manufacturing residuals, as well as municipal trimmings. It is collected and processed by a wood waste aggregator that delivers it to the BRDF daily. Because the biomass used at the BRDF is a waste byproduct from other processes, it is globally recognized as a renewable, low carbon fuel. The system is carbon neutral since the amount of biogenic carbon dioxide released by the BRDF is equal to the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed by trees during their growing stage. This is also equal to the amount of carbon dioxide that would be released by wood waste during decomposition in a landfill, but with the benefit of producing thermal energy. The BRDF uses an average of 10,000 tons of wood waste every year, or 1% of the total wood waste currently available in this region. This type of biomass is an abundant and underutilized fuel source. Of the more than 1 million tons of clean wood waste available every year, about 40% is unused and disposed of through burning or to landfills. The facility was designed with two systems, a biomass heat generation system and a biomass cogeneration demonstration system with a cogeneration engine. The heat generation system begins by gasifying the biomass into clean synthesis gas, also known as syngas. Gasification is a process that converts organic solids, such as waste wood, into a useful gas. This syngas can be used in place of fossil fuels. In the gasifier, a high temperature, oxygen-starved process causes a wood to release gaseous compounds of methane, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen, which together are referred to as syngas. This is a different process than direct combustion of organic solids because gasification separates the syngas from ash, producing lower particulate emissions and is potentially more efficient. The clean syngas is then directed into the oxidizer. Here, oxygen is added to the syngas to initiate the combustion process and produce hot flue gas. The flue gas is used to heat a boiler and produce steam. The steam is converted to hot water and distributed through UBC's academic district energy system to heat campus buildings. An electrostatic precipitator is used to filter out 98% of the remaining particulate matter in the flue gas to clean it before it is released into the atmosphere. The co-generation demonstration system was the experimental system of the BRDF. In the co-generation demonstration system, gas is used to fuel a co-generation engine to produce both electrical and thermal energy. In its original configuration, syngas from the gas fire was directed through the thermal cracker, where it was cleaned of impurities and then cooled, filtered, and compressed before injected into the engine. The demonstration cogeneration system ran for 450 hours using biomass syngas before it was stopped due to equipment failures in the syngas conditioning. The equipment failures were not economically feasible to repair or replace. However, academic researchers at UBC continue to study and improve this technology for future applications. Currently, the engine is fueled by a combination of renewable natural gas and natural gas. The renewable natural gas, in this case biomethane, allows the BRDF to deliver renewable energy to campus. The natural gas allows the system to maximize energy generation. Overall, energy production of the BRDF has increased by 75% beyond original projections. The BRDF produces 8.4 megawatts of thermal energy per hour. This accounts for 25% of campus heating and hot water needs throughout the year, and 100% of these needs during the summer months. The facility also produces 2 megawatts of electrical energy per hour, or 5% of total campus electricity needs each year. Since its opening, emission levels from the BRDF have been far below the limits of Metro Vancouver air quality regulations, demonstrating that clean fuel sources have clean emissions. Ambient air monitors located on the facility's emission stacks and on neighboring residential buildings provide real-time alerts to ensure that the regulatory limits are never exceeded. 
The LEED Gold Certified Building that houses the systems is a showcase of British Columbia mass timber design and construction. The structure is composed of exposed glue laminated timber columns and beams attached through steel connectors, as well as cross laminated timber or CLT panels for the walls, floors, and roof. Mass timber is an innovative, low carbon alternative to steel and concrete building materials, and through its use, it reduces the building's embodied carbon footprint. The CLT panels were fabricated locally, mainly from regionally sourced pine beetle affected lumber. The pine beetle infestation is killing large quantities of trees in Canada, creating significant forest fire hazards. Harvesting these dead trees, which are still structurally sound, allows for new forest growth, increasing BC's carbon sinks. The BRDF also has an on-site laboratory that allows researchers to access syngas and other byproducts for academic research projects. As a signature Campus as a Living Laboratory project, the BRDF serves as a real-world demonstration and case study of biomass energy production. It provides a unique opportunity to conduct research on future energy generation technologies. The University of British Columbia is currently investigating options to expand the research and operational capabilities of the Bioenergy Research and Demonstration Facility. Through projects like the BRDF, UBC is demonstrating and testing new emerging technologies as solutions to sustainability challenges such as clean energy and climate change.